ever had a secret, a speck of information you kept to yourself, a heart's desire you didn't bear share a word of in fear of waking up and it all being a dream. Granted, a few people knew, or at least suspected, you became clever in your need to hide the secret, changing the subject or denying what they were bringing to your attention. I've had one of those, and now I'm ready to share my secret with all of you. My secret begins and ends it with this picture. My big secret is I lost 80 plus pounds. I can't even tell you how amazing I feel. Um, I do want to give you the backstory uh, from that picture, but I, <laughs> I, I'm so proud of myself. I can't, I can't even tell you. I mean, just, I, do I have flabby arms? I do. Do I have excess skin? You bet. And I earned it all. I earned it all. I also have bounds and bounds of energy now. <laughs> I just feel amazing. And some of you are wondering, well, how did you get there? And I want to share that story with you because if what I did and what I endured and what I've gone through will help you, even just one of you, then it's going to be worth it for me. So let's get down to it. So in that photograph that I showed you, that was me, May of 2023. That was an, at an event uh, in Houston. I did document that event and I showed you um, a little behind the scenes um, for what it's like to get ready for a book signing. And photo was taking, that photograph was taken on a Saturday, the following Friday. I made a trip to my regular physician, um, something that I do every single year because I'm a nurse. Those for you who don't know, uh, I am a nurse during the day and I practice what I preach and that I get my yearly mammograms. I do the things that we preach to you about doing, which includes going to my doctor once a year, having the sit down and going over labs and, and such. So... On this particular visit, we sat down and he showed me the screen, um, particularly my um, hemoglobin A1C. And for those of you who are, what, what is that? Um, okay, so a hemoglobin A1C is a screenshot of your blood sugar during a three month period of time. And it's different from the little sticks that we do, um, finger sticks, and it tells you says your blood sugar is 100 or whatever. Um, it's different from that. Um, and this will tell you if you are um, a diabetic or not. And I looked at that number staring at me on the screen and I will be very honest with you, I burst into tears. I absolutely burst into tears. I looked at that number and fear like I have never felt went through me. And I went home and I didn't even speak to my husband. I'll be honest with you. I kind of tucked inside myself a little bit and said, girl, you got to do something. This, this cannot go on any longer. It can't. Again, I'm a nurse. I know the side effects of diabetes and I'm not signing up for those. Any one of you who is dealing with diabetes, my hat is off to you because there are so many things that come with that disease and I don't want any of them. And my hemoglobin A1C was at a point to where I could, whoa, put, pump the brakes, change my eating habits, my exercise, and I could reverse it, or I could continue and jump right into the insulin. If you are headed in that direction and you want to stop, go see your physician. Go see your physician. And if your physician, for whatever reason, doesn't want to listen to you, find another doctor. Yes, I said it. 
find another doctor. Find one who will listen, because trust me, they're out there. So how did I do it? How did I go from that to this? It's an excellent question. And I'm sure there are many of you who are pointing those judgmental fingers and saying, she got on one of those shots. You could be right, but you're not. I do not take Ozempic. I do not take Wagovi. I do not take Monjaro. I do not take the Zetbound. Do not take any of those. However, I fully support anyone who does. As a nurse, as a struggling person, as someone who is struggling with their weight, and I still have weight to lose, I fully support you. Fully support you. Now, I did take a medication that was suggested uh, by my physician. Again, um, he wanted to put me on a couple of different things, and we talked about it. Um, as a nurse, again, and I, I reference that a lot, but because I want you to understand where I'm coming from, do your homework, do your homework. If this is something that you're struggling with, do your homework. And I say that because he, he named off about four or five drugs that he wanted me to try. And I, nope, 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 and nope. We finally settled on a medication. I'm not going to list the medication. I made a decision based on my health and what was right for me. Um, you need to have that conversation with your physician to find out what is right for you. If you are someone who is struggling to drop the weight that you want to lose, I'm going to say this. I am going, I will battle and I will die on this hill. Unless you are mentally ready to do what it takes to lose the weight, you will fail. Unless you are mentally ready to deal with the shakes of addiction, and food can be an addiction. You're not mentally ready? Save yourself some, some uh, time there, sis. Get ready. Why didn't I share this sooner? Why haven't I been out there if I am so passionate about uh, being healthy and sharing my journey, why am I doing it three quarters of the way through? it was my secret to keep. It had nothing to do with my ability to write a good book. It had nothing to do with any of my characters. It had absolutely nothing to do with anything outside of my own mind. It had nothing. It didn't even have anything to do with my husband. It was my secret. It was my secret. And I bargained with myself. I'll be honest with you. I said, Okay, when you lose 30 pounds, you're going to make, make this video. 30 pounds came and went. Okay, when you hit 50, when you hit 50, you're going to tell all your fans and tell everybody 50 went several pounds ago. When you get below 200, when you join the 100-pound club, that's when you'll do it. I had a serious heart-to-heart -heart talk with myself and I said as much as your books have helped people how much would sharing your journey help the nurse side of me said listen sis it's not gonna hurt anything to share there's no shame in it tell them what you did Tell them how you're going to continue to do it. And tell them that you will be the biggest cheerleader for anybody who wants to join you on this journey. Tell them. And so that's why I've waited so long, three quarters through the way of my journey, before I shared. Sorry. Sorry. Not sorry. So how did I get here? How did I go from... 246 pounds, the most I've ever weighed in my life. Um, I'm 5'3", by the way. So my BMI was 47. 47. Um, I had blood pressure issues. I had pain in every joint you can imagine. I, I got tired super easy. Super easy. And if you remember, 
in the video I talked about where I, we went to, to Disney and in Universal, I was coming out and I said that, you know, I didn't get tired. I didn't get tired. I didn't get tired. I can do a lot now without getting tired. Couldn't say that 82 pounds ago. Um, so I started this journey in a sized 22 jeans. 22. Um, I walked all over Dublin, Ireland in a size 22 jeans. I'm in a size 10. And as you can see, we need to go down some. Kind of got some sag business going on. Um, so I'm going to go do that. I'll take you with me later when we go see if we can find some size 8s. Which that would be pretty exciting, right? 22 to an 8? I'm all about it. Anyway, how did I get here? I eat a lot of protein. And when I say a lot of protein, I eat a lot of protein. Um, I wake up every morning, 5 a.m., start my day, 5 a.m. Again, I'm a nurse. 5 a.m., I have two cups of protein coffee. Um, I will share with you that I my favorite protein um, shake is the Fairlight. I, the, the, um, the Premier is okay for me, just okay. Um, I will drink it if there's nothing else available, but Fairlight is it's my jam. Um, two protein coffees. Um, I also have a protein bar. I like the Kirkland brand. Um, I just don't like the other stuff. It's just my choice. Um, then um, I have lunch. I will have more protein at lunch. Um, I will have a protein coffee, um, about three-ish. And then I will have dinner. And then I don't eat after dinner. And that's my personal choice. Um, I have other people who I work with who do not follow the same diet plan that I do. It's just for me. It works for me. Um, I keep my calories below 1,600. Below 1,600. I fight every day to get enough protein in. Um, 100 milligrams is what I shoot. Oh, sorry, 100 grams is what I shoot for every day. 100 grams of protein. I am in the gym. I am in the gym. I um, I have an Apple Watch. I close my rings every day. For those of you who um, have Apple, you understand what I'm talking about. Close my rings every day. I drink two 40-ounce uh, Stanley Cups of water a day. Now, I'll be honest with you, I do struggle with that. That is the one area I struggle the most in. I find the little water additives um, work for me. I, don't come at me and saying, well, that's juice, because this it ain't. Okay? Um, I have an aversion to aspartame, so I have to be very careful with those. Um, aspartame gives me hallucinations and, uh, no, let's not do that. Um, what else can I tell you? I don't do soda. I don't do alcohol at all. Um, I eat very little bread, very little Again, I'm a big protein person. Um, I do um, have some cheats, and I would love to show those to you if anybody's interested in my cheats. Um, I didn't uh, come up with most of them, I'll be honest with you, and I'll give credit where credit is due. Um, I have 38 more pounds to lose before um, I'm at I'm outside of the obesity window. Um, I invite you to come along because I would love to share the rest of it with you. And again, if this inspires you, then that's why I did this. Um, yeah, I, so come on, I gotta, I gotta go buy some jeans. Come on, you know you want to come on, come on. Say hello to size eight. I haven't worn a size eight. Oh my God. <laughs> I haven't worn a size eight in... 14 years, you can do it too. Size 22 jeans was what I wore when I walked around Ireland. And now I can almost go in half of them. Eighty pounds, 82 pounds. I keep forgetting about the two pounds I lost this week. 82 pounds, gone, gone.